Cancer, what's going on? I hope you guys are doing really well. Thank you so much for being here. This is The Connected Conduit. I'm going to do a timeless reading for you, but I am filming it for January 2024. But again, whenever you find this message you were meant to, the reading is timeless. Okay, Cancer, um, I'm really excited to do this reading because the energy that I'm feeling for you is intense it's awesome it's exciting okay i'm feeling into your energy and there's this bubbling sense of anticipation it's like joy prosperity expansion um excitement i'm seeing the two of cups like a connection for you a deep soulmate connection um the three of cups so you're feeling light you're feeling happy you're feeling free it's like your new beginnings are finally here after like the dark night of the soul. You know what I mean? After dealing with people, places and things that were not very good, you've learned a lot of lessons. It's been tough, but it's like finally you can breathe a sigh of relief. And I was noticing this morning before I hopped on here, Cancer, that the birds outside my window are chattering up a storm. They're chattering, tweeting like, like mad and it's winter. We're in, we're in the heart of winter now, <laughs> unfortunately, but um, <clears throat> normally birds are quiet in the winter, but not right now. So I feel like cancer, that is symbolic. It's telling me that you have incoming communication, eight of wands, lots of text messages, lots of over the phone chats, things like this, maybe emails, um, traveling to see one another. Okay, so... I'm getting a lot of energy in my heart space and I'm feeling really excited <laughs> and I'm giggling. Okay, great. So there's the eight of wands. Woo -woo. See, Woo -woo. I feel it. Like things are happening for you, cancer. I'm getting excited. I love your energy. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can't stop smiling. You're going to be really, your face is going to hurt cancer. You're going to be smiling until your cheeks hurt. Okay. I feel that very strongly for you. What's this? We have emotional loss. There's the, the slog, right? After difficult times. Eight of wands. It came out. I'm so glad because I was really feeling this energy for you, Cancer. The eight of wands. Yep. After heartache and emotional loss, you are moving forward very quickly towards something very special. I'm also getting a song for you, Cancer. Um, it's by Peter Gabriel, In Your Eyes, all right? It's a really popular song. Listen to the lyrics or read the lyrics. Listen to the song if you feel called to because there's a message in there for you from your person. In your eyes, the light, the heat. In your eyes, I am complete. In your eyes, <gasps> victory and success. And I got full body goosebumps, Cancer. The Six of Wands, this is victory, success, after battle. So the Six of Wands literally comes after the Five of Wands, right? And the Five of Wands is all about conflict, battling, struggling, difficult times, change, okay? You are having a victory very quickly here, Cancer. Look at this, Three of Cups. I was feeling this energy too, you guys. You're about to partner up with somebody. Do you see how their hands are clasped on each other's wrists? It's like they're making a pact. This isn't just somebody. This is somebody. Do you know what I mean? This is somebody really, really special. This is somebody brought to you directly from spirit, the divine, God, the universe, whatever you believe in. It doesn't matter. This is a higher love I'm hearing, a higher love. It's what you asked for and you're going to receive it, Cancer. In your eyes, I am complete in your eyes. In your eyes. Somebody loves your eyes. I'm getting emotional. Shoot, you're going to make me cry. You're going to make me cry. Don't do it, Cancer. Don't do it. <sighs> 586. We have 586 out and I feel like for somebody watching or for a few of you watching, these numbers are significant and I'm not sure how. I don't know if it's like an address or an apartment number, birthday, 
um, anniversary, but we have five, eight, six. Sorry, you know what? That was the three of wands. This is the three of cups. Oops, I got a little a little backwards there. But anyways, it doesn't matter. The three of wands is all about expansion. And I was picking up on expansion earlier when I first started talking about the energy that I was channeling for you. But here's the three of cups. Three of cups is all about going out, having fun, rejoicing, celebrating, dating, getting back out there, enjoying life. Memories of love, six of cups. So we're going from the five of cups to the six of cups. Now we have six, six out. Um, those numbers could be significant. Okay, June 6th. But the six of cups is so beautiful, Cancer, because it's like you're healing from the past. You're healing. And... For many of you, you have a past life soulmate coming in for you. Somebody that you've had many lives together with before. Somebody who's going to feel like home to you. You're just going to get one another right off the bat. Do I know you? No. Do I know you? Where do I know you from? I don't know. Where have we met before? I don't think we have. I'm not sure. You know, it's like one of those things. No, but you seem really familiar to me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> 15 temptation underneath eight of wands it's like this is what you're moving away from sacrifice you've made a lot of sacrifices cancer you may have had to actually literally move move house move home we have transformation coming out the death card we have capricorn energy and scorpio energy um Your transformation, your change ha is successful. It's like next level. Next level. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn, or you could have those placements strongly in your chart. Okay. We have moving on from disruption, the Tower Energy and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're completely rebuilding. So let's see what else is coming in for cancer what's coming in for cancer show us this this connection because i'm feeling that i'm feeling that very strongly for you somebody who's really solid oh my god as i say someone who's really solid we have spiritual strength coming out the nine of wands this person's really strong and i and i mean that sure they may be physically strong but i mean on the inside spiritually they have like a strong sense of self they're spiritually strong they've overcome a lot in their life they're they're no like spring chicken you know what i mean like they're very developed spiritually is what i'm trying to say they're really peaceful and calm there's a gentle strength to them and there's the three of cups we see again on the bottom of the deck this is you guys going out having fun okay this person has such a big heart. Too big, I want to say. It's probably gotten them into trouble in the past. Um, because sometimes when we have too big of a heart, we trust too easily, we give too much, and then we end up over giving, over trusting, and sometimes it can lead us down the path of being used or mistreated by narcissistic people right so tell us about this person coming towards cancer movement choices decisions two of pentacles triumph see this is the energy i'm feeling oh my gosh okay so this is um cancerian energy this is your energy cancer but this is somebody who who's ready to go that's how i feel They want success with you. We have financial and material changes coming out. This is you moving on from any conflict or ch challenges that you had in the past, okay? I feel like your finances will be increasing if that's something that you have been trying to manifest. Um, you may have been feeling really, really busy with the Two of Pentacles here, trying to juggle everything. 
but you're going to have victory over that. There's going to be some sort of a breakthrough here for you. I feel like any... Oh, that's what it is. Okay. So if you've been putting limitations on yourself or, you know, glass ceilings, you're going to be removing those limitations and it's going to really free you up and allow you to have a victory here with your finances, especially. Okay. And for some of you, it's this person coming in that's going to like, I don't know, they're going to help you somehow or inspire you or like be your muse in some way okay i'm going to clarify and just see what else wants to come through like what else the universe wants you to know Tell us about this accelerated motion, the Eight of Wands. What is this movement forward very quickly for Cancer or this communication? Ten of Pentacles. Look at that, Cancer. That is gorgeous energy. Ten of Pentacles. The Pentacles represent our material world, our finances, house, home, family, right? The whole thing, the whole shebang. That's beautiful, Cancer. I'm really feeling that, that you may be going from the five of pentacles, which is sort of like a pot. It's either a poverty mindset or you really were struggling with your finances and you're about to go from rags to riches. OK, and it's because you put in the work and you didn't give up. And I, I really feel for many of you, you're going to be lifting some sort of glass ceiling or limitations that you've been putting on yourself. And you're really going to be stepping into this space of like, no, no more. I'm not going to limit myself. I'm going to push past any blocks, any barriers. I'm not going to let fear, the devil card here. I'm not going to let fear hold me back anymore. <laughs> I don't swear on this channel, but I'm getting like, F you fear, like F you. Okay. Yeah. No more. No more of that. So that's beautiful. You're going to be so happy. You're going to really be moving into, into this space of feeling happy, secure, safe, loved. And it's because you put in the work. Like this is, this is hard earned by you and it's not going anywhere. It's very stable. Okay. Ace of swords. That's the truth. Everything I just said is the truth. There's Archangel Michael's energy showing up for you, Cancer. Okay, tell us about this victory and success. Oh my gosh, the King of Wands. Wow, Cancer. Okay, so this is either your energy where you could be male or female, you guys. Doesn't matter. The King of Wands is just an energy. This could represent you or it could represent the person coming in for you the connection that I'm feeling for you if you're trying to manifest love okay so for those of you who are not looking for love this is you stepping into your leadership shoes okay this is you feeling confident strong having victory over a battle overcoming a lot of obstacles a lot of challenges a lot of negative thoughts and negative people okay you're very 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 protected here cancer because you have a ferocious spirit guide or angel or whatever you believe in you are protected by someone or something in the uh, world unseen okay whether that's a spirit guide god whatever you believe in an angel and this person is fierce fierce okay they're fierce I don't know why I have to keep saying that, but it's coming through. Um, and for, for others of you, this is somebody coming towards you with like the heart of a lion. This person is also fierce, courageous, strong. Like I was saying, not only they might be physically strong, okay? They might be quite athletic, Um but they're, again, they're spiritually strong. They have a strong heart. They've overcome a lot.
Oof. If this is um love that you're manifesting, you you're going to be really 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 happy with this person, okay? Like they're everything you wanted. I feel some of you may have written down all the qualities that you wanted in a person and the universe is like, we got you girl or we got you boy, but we're also going to raise you. Okay. So they're going, the universe will deliver what you want, but even better, even better than you imagined. Okay. Page of cups. You guys might meet when you're doing something new, a new project a new program, something like this, something creative, something where communication is involved. You're like, that could be anything. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's like maybe online or something like that. For some of you, you do something creative for example, I'm getting someone who, who, who does some sort of artsy, artsy thing like painting. And then you're going to have like, um, an art show, an ex exhibition or something like that. And this person comes to your show. All right. For some of you, that's very specific, but I'm just, um, I'm getting that. So <clears throat> we have the Knight of cups underneath. Yeah. Romantic suitor here. Okay. So what else, what else wants to come out? If you've been holding yourself back in terms of cr like expressing yourself creatively, that's that's changing, okay? That's totally doing a 180. You're not holding yourself back anymore. I love it. King of Pentacles. Yeah. So this is you, I feel like establishing something very solid for yourself, Cancer especially when it comes to your material things in life, like your house, your home, um, your finances, things like this. I'm hearing nest egg, nest egg. So you could be saving, learning more about finances, just paying more attention to that. The choice that you're going, you're going to make a choice here, Cancer, to remove a glass ceiling and it's going to bring in all this money, okay? That message just needs to be said over and over so that it's really driven home for you guys because, excuse me, <clears throat> um, that's just really important for you to know, okay? As soon as you decide to remove a self-limiting belief or behavior, you're going, your finances are going to churn on a dime, like very quickly. You're going to go from like maybe like not having any clients. Like for example, if you have your own business and you're like, where are the people? Where are they? Um, no one's coming. Oh my gosh. All of a sudden you're going to make this change and boom, the people are going to come. Okay. So don't, don't give up. Don't give in. Keep going. You're going to have a victory here. You're going to have triumph. Nine of Cups. See, you you will be happy. This is wish fulfillment coming in for you, Cancer. Personal wish fulfillment. Look at her like jumping, leaping for joy. Her arms are spread. Her chest is like out and like the sun rays, the beams of light are spreading out everywhere. This is the energy that I was tapping into when I first sat down. This energy is light. It's happy. It's free. Look at her. She embodies all of the, that energy that I was talking about in the beginning, Cancer. Okay, and lots of communication, lots of communication. Eight of Wands, chit chat, right? Cheep, cheep, cheep. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Have you guys ever seen that Trailer Park Boys episode with the chickadees? Here, sweetie. <laughs> and then cheeseburger. So cute, so cute. I don't know. Some of you might not know what that is, but okay. We have the Hierophant coming out. We have Taurus energy. This is you like rising to new heights, um, going to the next level. This is the divine, the universe, God having your back. Um, you could be doing something quite spiritual here. You don't have to be, um, but you're basically elevating. Okay. You're elevating because I'm looking at the stairs and I'm hearing that Shania Twain song. 
Up, 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 can only go up from here. Up where the sky's gonna clear. Nine of swords, see? You're going up. So if you find yourself worrying, overthinking, and stressing about things, Cancer, just know, like, this energy is gone. This energy is gonna be gone. Okay? Anything else that wants to come through for Cancer? What else is coming in? <gasps> Two of cups! Two of cups! Look, Cancer! Look, Cancer! Mm, mm, mm. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. I told you. I told you so. See? You guys, I was seeing this in my third eye when I sat down. There it is. This is confirmed for you, Cancer. You've got a soulmate connection coming in. Okay? It could be with uh, King of Wands, male or female, King of Pentacles, male or female. It doesn't matter. It's just an energy, right? Oof. Yeah, this person's really balanced because they're like passionate but also very grounded. They know when to take action and when to like slow it down and rest. It's a nice balance. They're passionate, but also like com into commitment, okay? And loyal. I'm, I'm really seeing that you guys are gonna have a lot of fun together. It's going to be a very deep connection. There's mutual attraction here and um, I feel like this person will be a nice support for you, Cancer, okay? I really do. Like, this person sees you. They see you. They get you. They understand you. They support you. And um, they're not here to take from you because I feel like in the past, you dealt with people who potentially took from you because we have emotional loss here. Um, so you're moving on from the past. You're saying bye-bye to fear you're removing limitations and you're going from rags to riches is what i feel and it's because you put in the effort and you figured something out okay you've been working very hard and it's like it's time it's time for you to be free happy feel light and have this new beginning okay in your life when it comes to romance and your financial situation so cancer somebody is like I'm getting that song again by Peter Gabriel, In Your Eyes. In Your Eyes, I Am Complete, The Light, The Heat. Look at this person's gaze. Look at their stare. It's intense. Okay? When you guys come face to face, or if you've already met this person, I don't know, maybe some of you have met this person, maybe some of you are about to. Um, I feel like it's soon, though, if you haven't. But it's like they you might find them staring at you very intensely, okay? Yeah, lots of intense eye contact here. They may rattle you a little bit in a good way, okay? But I'm getting them, they might make you like, <laughs> they might make you blush, okay? Um, whew, yeah, okay, that's enough. All right, Cancer, this is what I have for you. I'm going to pull a couple romance angels for you before we close out Ooh, chemistry see yeah i can feel it i can feel it can you feel it oh <gasps> chemistry came out i knew it yeah see you're gonna yeah and we have flirt on the bottom Ooh, this is intense you guys you're meant to be together. You guys are being magnetically drawn to one another. You're going to have a hard time staying away from one another once you come together. Like you're not going to want to leave. You're going to be two little peas in a pod. It's so cute. Attraction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of mutual attraction here for you and your person. Okay? And they think you're really sweet. Whether you're male or female, your person thinks you're absolutely gorgeous and very sweet as well um yeah Ooh, you guys are going to create something together what are you going to make i don't know i'm getting that very strongly you're going to create something together make the efforts for some of you if you want kids i feel like you you might have kids here okay if that's something you're trying to manifest whether that's yeah, whether that's you guys blending families or, you know, one of you getting pregnant pregnant and having a baby, okay? Um, 
because we've got two little two little ones here a boy and a girl very sweet make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so this person i feel like is going to show up right they're going to make the effort and we have true love on the bottom this keeps coming out for the collective and i love it i love it so much i'm so happy to see this card because i feel like the collective has just been through so much right um so cancer this is absolutely beautiful this connection is going to be extremely healing for you it's everything with the ten of pentacles that you've been trying to to manifest it's coming in it's it's solid it's here to stay we have beautiful soulmate and your finances going up 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 okay after a difficult time so hang in there hang in there darling if you are struggling know that you are on the brink of a breakthrough here with somebody extremely intently set on you Whew. yep mm -hmm. i'm getting a lot of energy from this king of wands Jeez. gosh <laughs> that person is going to take the lead okay they're going to take the lead if it's a man they're going to show you what it means to be a man if it's a woman they're going to show you what it means to be a woman okay i'm telling you all right cancer that is what i have for you i hope you found it helpful i hope you enjoyed it and that it resonated with you i'm sending you all the good vibes i'll see you in the next one take care bye